Hey guys, Philip here, and welcome to part two of my four-part zombies game. Guys, I'm really happy to say that this is my first zombies game. I'm also very happy to announce that I have hit 200 subscribers. It's really weird that I have hit 200 subscribers, even though I just hit 100, I think about five videos ago. So guys, uh, this was your 200 subscriber video right here, the four-part zombies. Uh, I would usually just upload some multiplayer, but I thought that I should just upload some zombies since my last gameplay, I'm pretty sure, was zombies with Abrams. Anyways, guys, I'm just here. It's, it's going to be round eight, and I just got one of my favorite guns in zombies, which is the DSR-50. I know a bunch of you are saying, oh my gosh, it's a sniper rifle. It sucks. No, it doesn't. It's a one-shot, one-kill, like, until round a billion. I don't even know when it stops being a one-shot, one-kill. I've never uh, gone up to the level where it stops being one shot, one kill, and even if it does, I pack a punch it so it can be stronger. Anyways, guys, that's not what I'm going to talk about right now. I do have some stuff to talk about that's on my mind. Uh, what I want to talk about right now is the what, what is Black Ops 2, the my review for Black Ops 2. So, guys, I think Black Ops 2 compared. Let me just get this out, way, out of the way really quick right here. Black Ops 2 takes Black Ops 1 and throws it in a hobo's toilet it blows it out of the water so bad and uh i know uh, my friend happy fingernail um uh, if he's watching this he'll tell me he just told me this today uh he thinks the uh, campaign is better in black ops 2 and that's because he's really into the the war and tactics and all that war and stuff like that uh in fact today we have to give a presentation science class and he did his presentation using 180 guns uh, from pre and post World War II. So uh, that was pretty cool to hear him do that. But I'm getting uh, sidetracked here. Anyways, so I disagree with that. I think that the Black Ops 2 campaign is pretty awesome. Uh, in fact, I think the only campaign of any other COD that would beat it out would be World at War, Modern Warfare 1, or Modern Warfare 3. And uh, not World at War would be like even with it. I really liked Modern Warfare 1. I really liked the campaign on that. That would be pretty even. Uh, so it's, I think it comes down to Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 for me. Uh, then again, that's just my opinion. That's not saying, oh, you have to believe in that. But anyways, uh, also, I think that Zombies, I think it is just freaking epic. I think it is so much more better than Black Ops 1 Zombies. I love Black Ops 1 Zombies. I'm not saying I didn't like it. Uh, well, then that credits this so much more to saying that I love zombies in Black Ops 1 and also in World at War. Uh, but this one is just, it's so cool with the transit and all that. The, the one thing I like, is right there, Black Ops 1, you would have gotten caught, you would have gone down. It is, uh, it's much more smoother. I like how Treyarch put, uh, I guess they like made the edges a little finer so you could actually pass. So it's, it looks more realistic when you pass. You're not getting trapped by a door hinge five feet away, and I like that a lot more. You can uh, you can maneuver around the zombies a lot more, and I just I just love it like that. It's just so awesome because I always run tight corners and stuff, and I I liked Black Ops 2 because in Black Ops 1 you couldn't do that that much. You it always felt like oh you have to have a wide gap or else you will get caught. You will go down. Uh, another thing I like is right here you'll see them a little bit when they're uh, when they're coming up they use two different routes if you see they right there one goes to the left side and one goes to the right side of the box and uh i think that's really cool how uh it's, it's not just one uh whoa there's my phone excuse me guys but there is two ways that they come and they're i guess they're trying to cut you off or something and um like right there i would have gotten caught by that car uh, unfortunately you'll learn about that car in uh, episode four so anyways, as I was saying, there's another example, so tight of a fit, Black Ops 1, you got caught in on that right away, and you probably would have gone down if you do not react fast enough. So anyways, guys, that's the zombies. Uh, the campaign, I wasn't really finished with the campaign. What I was saying with the campaign was, it is, I, I like it a lot. I think that they integrated a lot into it. Uh, the thing I liked about Black Ops 2 campaign was they integrated some of the guns of Black Ops 1, and they also did that in zombies. They had the Galil. Uh, I don't know what other guns I had in there, but yeah, that's the, like, I think the only one I've seen so far is the Galil in there. And, uh, the, the Galil is awesome. I love the Galil. I love in Black Ops 1 Zombies. And, uh, to bring it back in Black Ops 2, I think that's really cool. Another thing I like in Black Ops 2, 
Uh, sorry, I wasn't completely done with Black Ops 2 Zombies. Uh, the, another thing I like in Zombies is Transit. I mean, it's just going to all these things. Now, I think Transit would be a little better uh, if maybe they put guns on the maps, like like trans like town here, how it has the M14, the Olympia, just in case like I you don't have a gun or anything, or you couldn't buy like, the AK-74 for you at the uh, power station, uh, just in case you got caught. So that's zombie death. I like it a lot. I like grief death. That is awesome. I just like I like playing that with my friends and uh, just making the other people miserable. We inv we invite all of them to a party, and uh, it's just awesome because they just get all mad and stuff. So, yeah, guys, that's uh, that's zombies overall. I compared to Black Ops 1, it blows it out of the water. And I love Black Ops 1 zombies. So, that's saying a lot for Black Ops 2 zombies. Uh, so, net, moving on, campaign. Told you I loved it. Uh, compared to Mario for 3. Uh, and Mario for 3 was probably my favorite campaign. I just don't know. I don't know why. Uh, just, I, I liked it that much. I just liked the, uh, the missions. I liked how they progressed. And, uh... Black Ops 2, I like that a lot too. One of my favorite missions would have to be, uh, and your step uh, also posted this on video uh, when they're at the uh, we're on, when they're on the map. I believe it's hijacked or something, but they're on the ship, and uh, you have to go to the dance hall, and uh, you see everyone dancing there. I thought uh, your partner was dancing with the girl, but I, I don't know who it was. Anyways, guys, so yeah, that's the campaign. I enjoy it a lot. Compared to Mario Kart 3, it blows Black Ops 1 campaign out of the water. I know uh, Happy Fingernail is going to hate me for saying that, but I really don't care because uh, that's my opinion. And Happy Fingernail can go suck his little Happy Fingernail. Anyways, moving on. Well, it's just really gross because he has some Happy Fingernail, so it's kind of gross. Anyways, <laughs> I'm getting off subject again. So guys, next, multiplayer. This multiplayer, this is what I have to say about it. Every other COD, I've had three bars, except for this one. I've had four almost every match, and I love it so much. And it, I, my internet hasn't changed. I, they've, they've put the encoding there, and it's like the Modern Warfare 2 encoding, and I love it because Modern Warfare 2, I also had four bars. It wasn't as often four bars. What is that? Okay, that was weird. Uh, I think that was like an ad or something. Anyways. Wow, that like threw me off. Topic. What was I talking? Okay, Modern Warfare 2 encoding. The uh, multiplayer queen. I I loved it because I could get four bars most of the time, and now it's four bars every game, and it's just so awesome. I got caught right there. Anyways, guys, so guns, DSR 50. Yeah, I love it. I mean, uh, your step to use the ballista, and uh, that's that's like one of the biggest things, the biggest uh, competitions going around. Ballista versus uh, DSR. My my pick, DSR. Uh, I've heard that like if you're more experienced you use the ballista and let me tell you I am pretty experienced at sniping and I still use the DSR for one reason only I want that one hit one kill uh, speaking of one hit one kill I'm use currently using the SVU and uh, I'm trying to get gold on all so I can get diamond and uh, man that is hard I have to play hardcore I've never pl I never played hardcore the only hardcore I've ever played is in uh, Modern Warfare 2 and uh, so yeah, guys, so Black Ops 2 multiplayer is amazing. I like it a lot. Uh, Nuketown 2025, favorite map ever. I mean, Nuketown was my favorite map ever, except for Dome. I just, I love the close. I love the close maps. And uh, so for them bringing Nuketown 2025 back is just awesome for me. And I bought the season pass, so I will be getting Nuketown Zombies. Day one I get it, I will post a video, I promise you. Day when it's dropped, or day when I realize it's dropped, I'll probably like forget and not check. Uh, I heard that it's going to be released on a Tuesday, so tomorrow is Tuesday, guys. So I might get it tomorrow, which will be really cool. If it is tomorrow, I will post two zombie videos. I'll post part three, and I'll post this. Uh, I'll post a new town zombies uh, right here. I did get down, guys. My first down on. Let me see. Let me move this over really quick on round 14. So. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. That was my analysis of Black Ops 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next video is tomorrow, part 3. Hopefully with Nuketown Zombies in the little mix. So guys, please come back and watch tomorrow's video. I'll see you tomorrow. And peace out, guys.